episode one. We're only watching one today, chat. Or break you. Realize the seriousness of this moment. We want to see who can put perfection on a plate. Is there anyone that thinks they are the next Master Chef? I can be that chef. It began with home cooks from across America. Where are you from? Chicago. Maryland. Charlottesville, Virginia. 14th Street in Manhattan. All of them with one dream. I'm going to be the next master chef. I am the next master chef. I am the next master chef. You're looking at America's next master chef. Master chef, here I come. Thousands upon thousands lined up with their very best on a plate. I know I can win this thing. Every one of them hungry for the coveted title of master chef. And I just feel like they did it. And I just seems that they, they did a lot of effort for the screening. Prize. But to get it. Wait, how much for prize? And a quarter million dollar Aw, oh, dude, they could have ramped it up, dude. They could have ramped it up a little bit. Dude, guys, dude. They probably spent like fucking 50 million on production, man. Cash prize. Dude, 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 game, man. Come on, man. But to get it, they'll dude, have to face three of the on, toughest dude. figures in the culinary world. I'm Graham Elliott. Guys, guys, because some people win more in fucking Mr. Beast's intro, okay? Then they went after a fucking full year of filming for Master Chef. 27, Come I on. became America's youngest four star chef. Believe me, I know a thing or two about cooking and eating. My name is Joe Bastianich. I own 24 of the best Italian restaurants in the world and three award winning Italian wineries. I'm going to tell you how it really is. Okay, thank you. Man. And then there's me, Gordon Ramsay. I've got over 20 restaurants with 12 Michelin stars, and there's nothing that I don't know about food. The competitors will okay, battle okay, it out in the toughest of challenges until just one the remains. Cooking. Be the best or go home. They'll cater for critics hey, of guys, all this shapes is, this and is sizes. This is a spoiler. Oh, inside. I'm not eating this. Do you prefer the red team? Chef. It, it, yeah, it's too spoiler. Yeah. Wait, there's way too many people in there. What the fuck? Thank you. Welcome to Master Chef. I'm Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. I'm Joe Bastiano. I'm Graham Elliott. What the fuck? Now, you're all here because you want to become the next Master Chef. Trust me, wanting it is not enough. You've got to do more. You have to become culinary perfection. Think about it. Okay. This is not just about the money. At the end of this journey, one of you would have earned the title that money can't buy. And that's America's Next Master Chef. <laughs> so listen up, the restaurant business is democratic. If your food is bad, people won't come back. We run 50 of the world's best restaurants. And if we say your food is good or bad, we're right. Okay. Okay. You all know what this is. And sadly, you guys don't get one just for trying. You get one by impressing the hell out of these guys. By making a dish that's equal parts delicious, creative, and has a lot of skill. Listen, it's clear. Nobody ever talks about the second best dish they've ever tasted. And there's no award for the second best chef anywhere. True. First or last. Be the best. Ricky, we'll probably vibes for this one. Is there anyone in this room now XQC can you play GTA RP? that thinks they are the next master chef? <laughs> Trust me, we'll be the ultimate judge of that. This guy. Good luck to you all. Yes, I am, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the what is the fire? It's not. The fire always looks weird on camera. I wonder if it's because of the, of the camera lens they use or whatever. This looks weird. No. Nope. Yes, iron, baby. From the thousands who applied, 100 home cooks have been invited to Los Angeles. They'll have just one hour to create a signature dish worthy of a Master Chef apron. 
former beauty queen Jennifer oh, is the alcohol, first to face the fire. judges. Hopefully they like spice, because I'm spicy to begin with, so. <laughs> my passion for Stop. cooking came from the fact that my Her mother was definitely the 15 minutes in the microwave, so Excuse I started to discover food on my own, mm -hmm. because I couldn't eat one more thing of Salisbury steak. <laughs> I describe myself kind of a boy with boobs that loves to wear high heels and put makeup on. I'm a competitive person by nature. I won Miss Delaware, USA. I walked in a swimsuit on national television in five-inch heels. <laughs> I'm at the point in my life okay. where I need to follow exactly what I love. I came here to win. <laughs> Don't let the blonde hair and the nice Jesus. smile and high heels fool you. Each home cook is given just five minutes to plate up their dish. I just wanted to if say two of the three the judges think they have what it takes, that they'll win a big ass spot like Chef Apron and move on to the next stage of the competition. Hello. Gentlemen, how are you? Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you very much. First name is? My name is Jenny. Jennifer, can you take your uh, granddad's hat off so I can see you? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> it is my granddad's hat, actually. <laughs> what are you cooking for us? I'm making a coconut curry lentil soup garnished with some spicy shrimp. I toasted up all the spices, put them to the side, and then I layered the flavors in slowly so that way we'd get a really good base for it. Put a little bit of tomato paste in the underlines to kind of give it that background. Sound like a so chef. Like, yeah. So oh, like okay. a real curry, not just opening okay. up the tub and sure. spooning yeah, it in. Yeah, we're going to give And then well. created it from scratch. Great. Okay. Give me a little inside behind the sauce. What's in there? I toasted up all uh, turmeric, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of uh, sriracha. There's like a tint of sriracha in there. Are they and then we have a, yes, they are. A little bit of carrots in there. Mm. This is quite nice. Have you ever been to India? I've not. Well, they don't put carrots with shrimp, that's for sure. Why the carrot? Help me. When I eat soup, I want some heartiness to it, and that's some okay. heartiness and meat into okay. it. <laughs> I love the shrimp. You know, the fact that they melt in your mouth, there's a little bit of the spice that goes with them. All of that comes together, and it's something that I would like to eat a bowl of. So okay, Great. Right. Thank you. No problem. I mean, he usually eats everything from the new contestants. He's not going to say anything. Graham? Just the fact that you made your own curry and you knew the different steps of toasting off the spices, then adding your onions, Old Joe's tomato back product, here. you know how to cook. So I'd say yes. I want to see what else you can do. Wow, you believe that. You believe anything, I believe, huh? I do. Uh, Joe, yes or no? I can do this, Joe. I think that the actual consistency of the dish, it's a failure. And I'm going to vote no. No. Okay, the curry is not fantastic. The shrimps are delicious. My worry with you is that you are almost playing at it as opposed no. to focusing at it. Absolutely not. I have it in me. I have the passion in me. I know I do. This is what I love to do. I love to cook. You have to taste it, man. Give me this opportunity. I will prove it to Kick you. Kick her out. I think you have a lot of determination. Not enough, you get an apron, step okay. up to the mark. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Get serious. Absolutely. Yes? It's a very tough game. <laughs> you don't like curry. I think the dish is rehearsed. I think it's a fake, and I think she fooled you both. Snob. Well, you'll see. You'll see. This guy. Competition begins right now. You better believe it. I'm going to bring it on. And today is just the beginning of a long road to be a master chef. Jennifer snags the first apron of the competition. But not everyone has the recipe for master chef success. Because I'm not time oriented, I'm always like in a la la land. What are you cooking? I am cooking a fresh herb roasted rack of venison. A fiesta of lime. That's... Isn't that raw? Um, it's like chicken fajitas. Or it could be. A burrito. Stacked salmon with filling. A deviled egg with uh, beef tartare in it. And then I stuffed salmon. And uh, tuna tartare in the style of like a tuna salad sandwich. And I'm going to top that off with a nice bourbon cream sauce. 
You've been drinking that? Well, I had a couple shots while I was cooking. I'm kind of freaked out before we even start. I told my husband, you know what? I think I'm a peacock and I need to fly. The texture on the, what? the yolk, I'm not digging. I feel like I'm eating a tire. Disgusting. You're a lucky man. Do you can't even fly? You killed somebody. Raspberries, salmon, chipotle, grits. Damn. It's like you're wearing the wrong clothes and putting lipstick on your big toe. Oh, OK. For me, it's a no. <coughs> I need a water. <coughs> OK, dude. <laughs> So, why MasterChef? Okay. What do you think you bring to the competition? Um, I can bring drive and energy. Good. Run down there, touch the MasterChef logo, and shoot back. Off you go. Hurry up. He's and back. Walk. And right. good. One, two, oh, three. Oh, my Prince. God, they're milking him. Prince. What the fuck? How are you feeling? Good. For me, it's a no. <laughs> After a run of epic failures, can a trucker turn things around with his unusual ingredient? Got a road of sleeves up. My name is Albert. I live in Keele, Mississippi, and I am a heavy equipment operator slash uh, commercial truck driver. Holy shit. I will make a jambalaya with alligator and sausage. The closest thing that would taste like alligator would be turtle. I want to prove to the nation that I am the master chef, and it would financially stable me. Katrina hit in 2005. I built a new house, not quite finished it. There is a lot at stake for me. I'm here and ready. First name is? Albert. You're well camouflaged. I'm the redneck concoctioner. I had to be camouflaged. <laughs> Excellent. This okay, guy. Albert, start cooking, buddy. You got five minutes. Okay, chefs, I have prepared a triple tail gator. It's alligator three ways. Are you a big fan of alligator? If it's got two legs or four legs, I'm not scared of it. Well, I've cooked coon, rattlesnake, bobcat. What don't you eat, Albert? Possum. Your, your mama. <laughs> I draw the line at possum. I draw the line at possum. What's that on your chest there? What is that? Oh, that is a, a, a tattoo of an eagle with a Holly Davidson banner on it. Wow. I've got one on my butt. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey! it's not too close. Just from a distance, just in case. <laughs> you want to see the devil? <laughs> There's the devil. Woo! All right. <laughs> Can you please wash your hands before you continue plating that dish? <laughs> now, is this something that you serve often for the family or for friends? Alligator, a certain time of the season, we'll get it around home, you know. Do you live in the bush? I live in the, in the woods, you could say. Okay. In a tree or? Oh, no, ah, no, sir. <laughs> Finished? It's done. OK. Can Explain the dish, please. A sausage and alligator jambalaya. It's a fried alligator medallion on the side and uh, a coubillon. Cooking alligator is difficult. Incredibly lean, hardly any fats. Can deliver a really good flavor. Like you said, it is hard to cook alligator. That's probably the best alligator ever cooked in an hour. Well said. OK. Oh, it's chewy. Oh, that's a lot of chewing. Ah. Sheesh. Mm. Oh, are you this guy this usually talks. This is my first experience eating a reptile. Surely Joe's gonna say something about it. Come on. That dish resembles you 100%. Like a big, overgrown mess. Oh. I thought this was a joke. Oh. And when I tasted it, it's delicious. Oh. The stock is soulful, complex, layers. The alligator is toothsome and flavorful, and it's, it's really, really great. You've delivered.
There's a flavor there. You have surprised us. I'm telling you, I am going to give it my shot, and I will do whatever it takes to become the next Master Chef. I'm a yes. OK, pal. Graham. I'm a yes. You heard my vote. You're a yes, man. All right, yes. <laughs> Come here. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Oh, yeah. See you later, alligator. Yeah. You got it. OK. Thank you, Chef. OK, Thank and you. do me a favor. Hey, keep those pants up. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, <laughs> you got it. Albert Dundee. Holy crap. Yeah! Is guys, funny. I think it's the first time he's been down from the tree in a year. Hey! Out of the bush comes the dish of the day. Yeah. Oh, I swear yeah, to God. Man. I will give you this much about Gordon Ramsay. He's a son of a bitch, but he is an honest son of a bitch because he shoots you like it is and he's not going to you. Okay, okay. fair enough. No. Albert worked his butt off for an apron, <laughs> while those who follow quickly go down in flames. That is hideous. Completely dry, overcooked, and unedible. Oh. Tough. Definitely no. No. Oh my God, sorry. Oh. Dehydrated dog's turd. Look at it. After a run of disastrous dishes, can a Boston firefighter smoke? the competition. My name is Mike. I'm from Milton, Massachusetts, and I'm a fire department lieutenant. Oh, okay. A typical day in the firehouse can be from one extreme to the other. And cooking in the firehouse just takes me away from that. Chicken masala. If you take any long, I'm going to eat a hot dog off the back of your neck. <laughs> it's really enjoyable to be able to take some raw ingredients and turn them into a wonderful, hearty meal for the guys. That's good stuff. Yeah, You're yeah. so sweet. He's got a story segment. I have a lovely it. wife, Christine, and three boys. Hi, guys. They are the best boys in the world. Hi, buddy. I've reached one dream in my professional career, but I'm ready to take on the next chapter of my life and win Master Chef. Now send him home. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good to see you. Hi. First name is? Uh, my name is Mike. Mike. Yes, sir. What are you cooking? Uh, today, I've prepared a uh, pan-seared, panko-crusted halibut, served atop a wild mushroom uh, risotto with uh, prosciutto, some steamed lobster tail, and finished no, it with a lobster yeah, new bird. Guys, I know some of the chefs they had previously. I don't think, I think they just banned the bus. They, they, don't have, they don't get to have the content bus with the family in it. Just Nobody ran. has it yet. I so can't far. think of a worse person to cook a risotto in front of than Joe. Oh, it's boy. all solo now. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> OK. Unless. Damn, slightly unless. burnt that side. Uh, I figured I'd show the better side. If there's one person that I didn't expect to burn anything, it was you. Let me tell you that. Oh. I think the risotto is really yummy. What do you have kind of strewn throughout? Uh, some prosciutto, some chanterelle mushrooms, and some bluefoot mushrooms. OK. I think it works really well. I like the prosciutto. I wouldn't have uh, thought to do that. <laughs> Red Sox? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta stay true. Joe, yes or no? It's not working for me. It's no. a no. A no? No. Graham, yes or no? I think there's enough positives within the risotto and the sauce work and things like that that uh, I'll give it a yes. I wanna see what else you have. Thank you. What do you got, Gordon? So frustrating. Honestly, I could, I could scream. I'm a good learner. I've been learning my entire life. I, I'm willing to learn if uh, I've given an opportunity. Oh, he's trying. It's a win. I'm sorry. It's a no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continue cooking, please. No, no, no! I told you. I no buses. He, dude. No. No, he, he's in. They're gonna come pick. He's he's in. Thank you. They're gonna they're gonna come no. pick him up. Take the halibut off. Yeah. And if you serve the risotto with a lobster. Damn. How in the hell can a firefighter burn a halibut? We were waiting for you. I know you were. At least we get to go home now. I knew it. Mike, yes. listen to me. If you continue cooking over the next 12 months and really perfect and cook for these guys here. I'll guarantee you a place this time next year. Don't stop cooking, OK? okay? Thank you. Thank you. OK. High five. Don't stop. OK. Chat, chat. 
He did that to invalidate us who say lore equals win. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed, but who knows? I People were quite concerned we'll about the lore equals win Sheriff Ramsey, comments. My dad is going to be back next year. Daddy, I missed you. Coming up. Is this your dish? One home cook serves his oh. dish in the most shocking manner ever. This is not the kind of place I want to find a hair in my food. Delicious. And another. I like to think I'm the bad in the kitchen. Just can't help herself. I want that apron so bad. Give it to me right now. Give it to me, please. What the fuck? Okay, did did they? So far, just two talented home cooks have won a Master Chef apron and moved on to the next stage of the competition. Next up, classical musician Monica Chung expects her Korean dish will be every bit as perfect as her piano playing. Cooking is a lot like performing or giving a concert. There are never any limits. I never have a recipe. I just go by taste and how I feel. I am my own worst critic. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? There's never an end to the learning process. There's always something to improve, and I really like that. I like the challenge. I will definitely be cooking for as long as I live. How are you? Fantastic. What are you cooking? A traditional Korean dish called bibimbap. It what? literally means bibim mix bibimbap. and pop rice. So you mix it all together, and you're good to go. Everything has to be cooked separately. So it makes it a pain in the ass dish to cook. The flavors are um really unique. It's very mild. Normally it should be it kind of whatever. Hot. It's kind of basic, I agree. It went easy on the hot sauce. This is the Korean spinach? Yes, it is. Nice. Joe, yes or no? Yeah, the, 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 the yes dish is. Amazing. Really great. One big yes. Graham, yes or no? Seven different components on that plate, and each one was done right. Resounding yes. For me, it's a yes. Oh Resounding. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. So Monica takes home the third apron of the day. But can her competition also hit the high notes? My name is Aaron. Kayla. My name's Elin. What are you cooking? Grilled eggplant with some chorizo and goat cheese. Shrimp and grilled polenta. Lamb and pumpkin stew. This is me on a plate. Disgusting. Ah, to get those textures correct. I think the flavors work really well. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Yes. You're staying <gasps> to the next round. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> OK. That was incredible. The standard has raised. Yeah. Compared to last year, this is night and day. That is exciting food. This is some talented cooks. They've gone to a completely different level, right? I'm psyched. Guys, guys. The bar is raised. Most shows, I can, I can figure out how they film it. I actually have no idea how they, how they segment this, the, the, the... I feel like they bring them all in one for an intro, right? And then they, they, um, and then they bring them back for the, for, for the results, whatever, and they, and they film the things one at a time. No? I've got a very, very important message for you all. We've given How out they keep them all a few there? aprons, and we don't do that lightly. Let well, me they tell you for an that. hour. A word of advice. Get your head in the game. Already, the standard is there. The difference now could be that tiny grain of salt, and that would mean getting an apron or getting out of here. Who's up next? Raise your game. Up. You've got one chance. Good luck. My name's Tracy, I'm 32 years old, and I am in sales. I live for the food that I cook. Stay back. I've always wanted to be a chef, and unfortunately, I never took that career path. Yeah, don't cry. Fuck, I'm just the really intro. like everyone in America. It's the intro! My name is Tracy. 
Okay, and what are you going to be cooking? I have made for you today a wild mushroom crispy risotto cake with a truffled egg and just some nice upland crisps and some chives on the side topped with parmesan cheese. Salty? Perfect. So tell her, what does food mean in your life? I grew up in an Italian household. My grandmother uh, taught when, me how to cook. Jump. And so growing up loving and learning how to cook, it's just my life. It's really what I'm meant to be doing. But if you grew up with that love of food, right? why the hell didn't you pursue it? Because you have to be strong enough at a young age to get into it and pursue it. Determined. Determined. And I was determined. So you're weak, obviously. I'm not weak at all, actually. I am very, very strong. I'm going to cook you the best dish I can possibly cook, get an apron, and damn it, I'm going to win this competition. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. What is What's that? that? This here, it's just some white truffle oil. White truffle oil? Yes. One of the most pungent, ridiculous ingredients ridiculous. ever known to chef. It's a sure sign of someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Do you know that truffle oils are made by perfumists that have no white truffles in them? But it's, it's good. I can't believe you've just done that. I think you've just uh, put your apron up in flames, let me tell you that. Generally, if you go to a restaurant and you see truffle oil on the menu, it's a good reason to run away. I can smell it from here. It stinks. Okay. Jeez. I mean, you did really love styling plates, because that means nothing. It's a pile of grass. The rice cake is delicious. The egg got that richness to it, but the whole thing is knocked out, sadly, with that over pungent, dreadful flavor of white truffle oil. Great potential. Finish. Damn. Damn. Hi. How are you doing? I'm hanging in there. Are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Parmesan and egg and risotto, they're, they're really delicious, but that truffle oil, it really takes over that dish. It's a mistake. I know. We'll get that into that is crap. a mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. This means the world to me. I'm going to be really honest. Stripped with all the pretentious crap removed. Is it for me? Yes. <laughs> Another cry. Oh, she's in. Master Chef is about finding that unique palette. That's something magical. She's gonna cry every You're putting chives on the plate, like crisscrossing and making silly little pictures, and then truffle oil, trendy, and, you know, we fire chefs in our kitchens for using that crap. Guys, guys, it's not an old... I'm gonna be really it's honest. It's passive. Is it for me? No. Oh, damn. Graham, yes or no? Can you learn from your mistakes? Absolutely. I know I can learn from my mistakes. Yes or no? <laughs> I'll give you a chance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Joe, Joe. Joe. Come over here, come on. Oh. Uh, I definitely will not make that mistake twice. This means the world to me. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to. Uh... <laughs> oh, come on. Keep cooking. <laughs> Don't let me down. I won't. I won't. Thank you so much. And I promise I won't screw it up. I promise. Give it a shot. We'll see what happens. The risotto cake tasted delicious. Yeah, it was very good. There's no two ways about that. Very, very good.
so truffle oil's off Tracy's shopping list. But the judges still have nuts, flakes, and fruitcakes. Dude, it never, it never stops. It never stops. How are you feeling? Confident? I like to think I'm a bad <laughs> in the kitchen. But so yeah, they like a, Unfortunately, got, make it all natural. You're gonna have to keep cooking. At home. For us. Like, oh my god, dude. That it's is, huh? every time, dude. Fall. You're on the wrong show. <laughs> Should that be a little bit more cooked? I hope it doesn't ruin my chances for an apron. For me, it's a no. Straight down there, there's a big M on the door. Sorry, no. Bust the move that way. Joe, yes or no? Definitely no. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I thought the flavor was there. I thought there was creativity. I think it's good, so I'll say yes. Really? What does it mean? to you, this competition. Um, it means everything. I can do this. I need to do this. I I'll crawl. I'll beg. That's how bad I want that. I need that apron. I need this. Please, Gordon. I want that apron so bad. Give it to me right now. Please give it to me. Get off the floor. Pick up your apron. That's oh a yes from me. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, focus. How All the energy, for this? determination, Actual into the next dish. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're going to lose that bet, Gordon. I'm feeling so good, I can just run the halls screaming naked. Yes, yes. Oh. Home cook Christian from Las Vegas is about to make a naked play for the judge's approval. Rock on, man. Oh, my husband, my this is a joke. What's going no, on? not at all. This is my special treat. I have been looking forward to serving this for you guys for a while. You're kidding me. Are you competing for MasterChef? With is this your dish? Yes, it is my dish. Oh my god, it's just stop. Are you serious? Body sushi. Watch out. Get you around. <laughs> you just poured soy sauce over your lady's tummy, and it's dripping everywhere. Hey! Okay, my question is, who goes first? Maybe all three at the same time. Let's go. This is not the kind of place I want to find a hair in my food. Absolutely. Honey soy vinaigrette on the right hand side. Cool. Ah! <laughs> this is an ahi tuna. Raw style. It's Hugh Hefner's breakfast. <laughs> Don't ask for dessert, no. no what? No. At the end of the day, it's a cooking competition. I have to say no. No. Here's the naked truth. Three no's. Thank you both. Gordon Ramsay ate sushi off of me. <laughs> <laughs> Actual Coming sniper, up. dude. Chef Ramsay, how are you? How are you? Gordon gets a taste of home. Scottish? Yes. Glasgow? Glasgow. Yes, he didn't even cook <laughs> it. And Joe predicts the Master Chef winner. That's the kind of dish that wins competitions like this one. So far, the first day search for America's next master chef has seen eight people win an apron and take a place in the next stage of the competition. After an intense wait, the next contenders have their dreams crushed in seconds. I'm sorry, it's going to be a no. I'm going to say no. For me, it's a no. Oh. How long have you been in the police force? Five years now. Scallops are cooked perfectly. The rest of the dish lacks, so I'm a no. Oh. Just hard to take, but face kind of says it all. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna stop cooking. Don't know how far I'll go or how far I'll take it, but I'm not done. Tough. Today's home cooks have brought flavors from all around the world. The next stop is Scotland. Cooking comes from my heart. You know, when I get into my kitchen, it's just me and the ingredients and we just go for it. <laughs> and we just see what happens. And sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not. I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I eat like this every day. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Chef Ramsay, how are you? I'm very well indeed. How are you? I am rocking. Scottish? Yes. Glasgow? Uh, Glasgow? I 
I know. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't really understand what you're saying, no. but I guess you guys are Literally paisanos cheating. of some sort, right? Yes. <laughs> Lovely accents. Um, you. What are you cooking? <laughs> I'm actually done Scottish salmon and haggis on croute. I made the pastry myself. Haggis on croute? Yes. Look at you. Wow. You've got posh. Oh, Chef Ramsay, really? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever had haggis? Yes. Never yes. had. It's my first haggis experience. Great. Pauline, just explain to Joe what haggis is, please. Well, it's the heart of the lamb, it's kidney, and it's boiled in the lining of the sheep's stomach. Delicious. I once heard somewhere that all Scottish food was based on a dare. Like, I dare you to eat that. The what? <laughs> so, really? we'll, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> So is this what it's supposed to look like? This is what it's supposed to look like, yeah. And that's the haggis? That's the haggis. Just like that, right? Yeah. Don't be scared, Joe. Put hairs on your chest. Wait, hold on. Let me see it again. It's, it's, it's... Yeah. Then that's the haggis. That's Someone's the haggis. Someone's holding up probably like Just salmon. Like that, right? Yeah. Don't be scared, Joe. Put hairs on your chest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is salmon. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. It's Cheers, not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> this is the sauce. That's the sauce. See, I love that flavor. That's great. Okay. Look, guys, look, this oh. judge eats everything from them. Chef Ramsay, honestly, defies all the applicants. He eats all of it. That's brave to bring haggis to LA. I know. I mean, that dish. It makes me feel homesick. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. Oh. Attach a Scotland just for you. Does it need to go with salmon? No. It probably doesn't. You're crazy. I am. But I'm Scottish, what can I tell you? OK, Joe, yes or no? I, I like you. No, I like your apron. You say no. I like <laughs> your accent. I don't like the dish. You don't. Sorry. That's okay. No. You don't. I like Scottish people. I just don't like that dish. What do you want me to tell you? Graham, yes or no? The haggis is nice and moist inside the salmon, which was nice and moist inside the pastry. So okay. uh, I'm a yes. OK. Don't take this personally, because I think you're amazing. But for me, it's a no. To that apron. I want you to put this one on. OK. <laughs> oh, dude. Congratulations. Well done. The pride of Scotland. Yes! I'll never let you down. Come I'll on! I'll never let you down. Jesus, Show these yanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it never stops, man. For Chef Ramsay to taste my food is like winning the Super Bowl. This one, yeah. It's delicious, though. It is good. It's really What's good. What's the matter with you? <laughs> That's not Put some olive oil on it. Mighty. Coming up. The dish is more confident than you are. The it's final so home cook of the day has put everything on the line. Today's search for America's next master chef is drawing to a close. The final amateur cook is counting on his hometown flavors to snag him an apron. Yes! My name's Christian Collins. I'm from Gloucester, Massachusetts, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. You are invited to cook your signature dish for the judges' master chef in L.A. Hold up, hold up. Was that, was that his neighbor? Who was that? Yes! My name's Christian Collins. I'm from Gloucester, Massachusetts, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. You are invited to cook your signature oh, no, dish for the a, judges' master chef in It was a leaf, so I haven't done that. Hello. I got something in the mail. I have a nine-year-old son at home, 11-month-old little girl. Her name's Adalia, <laughs> and uh, one on the way. Oh, that's a nice place, then. Jeez. I've had some ups and downs in my life. I worked in it's restaurants charming. growing up for a little while. Typical dishwasher. I kind of veered off of that, just being a teenager, just figuring out life, doing drugs, kind of hit rock bottom, closing around for my son. Gets to a point where you do wake up one day and realize that that wasn't the man that you wanted to be. My son was about three and a half when I turned my life around, and came back, got custody of him, and then realized this was my passion and came back to it. Chewy, yeah. but awesome. It's lobster. <laughs> I had to fight through a lot of things in my life, and I'm going to fight through this competition and win it, because it's going to change my life around. Give me some love! Come on!
Guys, guys, for me to know, just because um, a beanie with a brim, that's automatic no. But let's see what we can cook. How you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Very good. Where are you from, buddy? I'm from Gloucester, Massachusetts. Uh, a beanie with a brim, that's fish no. in the country. What are you cooking? It's basically a cioppino. Uh, I like to call it a shipwreck sea stew for my son. What's the secret behind this stew? Start with a little uh, onion and pepper, some uh, white wine, garlic, tomatoes, clam juice. The love of food came from where? Cooking for my son. You feed this to the kids? Yes. Let's go. So let's hope the uh, shipwreck stew is not your culinary Titanic. <laughs> Good one, Joe. Nice to get the bro. Like classic Joe. You look very nervous. Okay, I've never wanted anything more in my life. I've been drinking all time. We had over there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. like you. It's intense and it's packed full of flavor. Good job. Thank you. Really good job. Thank you very much. Delicious. Thank you. It's very tough to pull that off. Thank you very much. Wow. Well done. Okay. The dish is more confident than you are. You should sing like that dish sings. Okay. Sure. For me, definite yes. That's the kind of dish that wins competitions like this one. Mm -hmm. Graham? Yeah, I think that uh, the dish speaks for itself. For me, I'm a yes. Put this on. Easy. Go out and intimidate him. No, no wow. bullshit. All right. Good job. Good job. Don't let us down, bro. I will not. Well done. Thank you very much. Yes. So want to dive in that pot, don't you? This is amazing. With brim. Absolutely spot on. Damn, look at this guy. He could win Master Shack. He really could. This is my dream. And it's happening. Oh, man. Next time on Master Chef. I'm going medieval on their asses. The okay. The search for the best home cook in America continues. Well, delicious. With the best fireworks. Hear what this competition's all about. And the rest. It's like a fucking dog chew. I think we got a fumble here. Please. A son squares off against his own mother. Prepare to be. Yeah, guys, I don't know more, guys. I told you guys, guys, it was.